Welcome to the show. Just your friendly neighborhood thrifter. Why am I doing this today? Because I fucking am. And because I fucking can. Because I'm Spider-Man. So let's do this. Let's do this. I'm your friendly neighborhood thrifting fucking Spider-Man. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Because I am stoked and happy that I'm like this. Because I got all these Spider-Mans. All these Spider-Mans sealed, man. Sealed Spider-Man 1. Starring me. Spider-Man 2. Me again. Come on, guys. Spider-Man 3 wasn't my greatest movie I ever done. The Amazing Spider-Man. Fucking good. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, yeah. And Spider-Man Homecoming. These are all sealed all sealed and these were all part of a thrift shop I went to where it was 10 movies for five dollars that's right five dollars so this was basically three bucks for all these these are not going in the kitty today these are going on my shelf because how dare anyone want to get rid of movies spider-man sealed as you know it's hot as balls in here always hot as balls in here but you know what I'm gonna stay like this the whole goddamn episode. The whole goddamn episode. We did so many DVDs last week. I'm doing DVDs again, but we're gonna start off with the clothes. We're gonna start off with the clothes. I told you it was hot in here. All right, I picked up this. I had to pick this up. I had to pick this up. This was $5 and it's size medium. I think I can get 30 bucks for this because it's an Anzac Day cycle jersey. Anzac Day Cycle Jersey from 2015, uh, Le Tour de France. Le Tour de France. So, very nice. Uh, least we forget um, 100 years of the Anzac. So, I think that's a very nice piece. And um, even though I will never buy cycling uh, gear and all that, um, I think uh, because it had the Anzacs on it, it was definite must to buy. Definite $30 right there. Some little weirdo will be fucking fucking cycling down the road with it getting in front of us cars and shit okay I got a uh, this was five dollars this is size 2XL 2XL it's pink because it is a uh, official jersey of the Sydney uh, Sixers um, I should get about 60 bucks for this it's official jersey I should get about 60 bucks for it but uh, I'm gonna put 50 in the kitty for this one nice jersey there don't go for the Sydney Sixers myself, but uh, Kitty don't lie. This is the first Big Bash jersey I've got, so um, hey, why not? Now this is awesome. This is awesome. I got two of these. I got two of these. I'm gonna put one on. Not that I need more shit on. All right, these were two dollars each. Two bucks each. Now these are just extra. These are extra large. They're in, well, one's large, one's extra. I'm not sure. They don't have the size, but it fits me, so it must be extra large. Two dollars each. I go for the Penguins. There's a Pittsburgh Penguins uh, NHL uh, jersey t-shirt. No, it's a t-shirt, not jersey. There's a uh, Pittsburgh, the city of Pittsburgh there. Beautiful city. Not much crime. Not much crime. I can just relax when I go there. Um, anyway, I've got two of these. I'm going to keep one. I'm going to sell one. I'll flip one off. Two dollars each. Two bucks! So I should get twenty-five dollars in the kitty for that. Twenty-five dollars plus they'll pay for their postage. Remember we do fees and... Spider-Man don't care about taxes and fees, okay? Spider-Man don't care about taxes and fees. Spider-Man worries. Spider-Frift worries about that later on. I spider-frift the shit out of this. I got this uh, Under Armour Heat... Heat Gear Under Armour shirt. This green one. This is actually a nice, really, really nice uh, shirt. It's size medium, unfortunately. It was five bucks. Um, I can get about 25 for this. I was looking at on comps, so that should sell for 25. I'm spewing it's not an extra large, because I'd wear that. Not that I go to the gym. This was $3. Brisbane Lions uh, 
an official Brisbane Lions uh, BLK um, kids jersey. It's a size 12. I'll get 20 bucks for that. I only paid $3. Would have been a bingo, but I've already got a bingo for that. But yeah, look at the kids ones. $3 and 20 bucks. Laughing. <laughs> I suppose this counts as clothes, but anyway. A Simpsons fanny pack. 1990. Vintage Simpsons fanny pack. 1990 fanny pack. Pretty cool, man. Sam, what a moron. What a fucking moron. Simpsons there logo. Someone alone is just selling that logo tag for 20 bucks. Anyway, this cost me 50 cents. 50 cents. 50 cents for this fanny pack. This fanny pack will fetch me $35 from 50 cents. Last from the clothes. Last from the clothes. Unfortunately, this is a size medium, but it's still an official jersey. It's cost me five bucks. Perth Wildcats. Perth Wildcats jersey. It's an official one. Nice jersey. This will fetch me. This will fetch me thirty bucks. Nice Perth Wildcats jersey right there. That was bag one. Let's go to bag two. DVDs. Uh, this Simpsons uh, season three was a dollar. Um, I'm not putting that in the kitty, I'm going to chuck that down there and I'm going to lot that up with other Simpsons seasons like I always do. And we'll do a lot up episode coming up soon because I'm starting to get close to uh, filling them up so I'll do a little uh, show of what I've been collecting up. You have no idea how hard it is to see through this thing. So these were a dollar each, I got Children of the Corn 2, Children of the Corn 3 and Children of the Corn 666, the number of the beast baby. That one I'll get 10 bucks for, that one I'll get 8 bucks for, that one I'll get 8 bucks for. They are M15+, plus. not recommended for children. They're not friendly, they're not friendly movies, they're scary. Uh, we got Back to the Future 3, this one's still sealed. Still sealed, this was $1, I can get 10 bucks for that. Teen Wolf 1 and 2, this was $1, I can get 10 bucks for that. Double disc, oh double disc, double, two movies on the one disc. <laughs> DuckTales. This was one dollar as well. I can pick up uh, DuckTales, ten bucks for that. Uh, this one I need a game on couple to help me out with. Um, I've got a PC game, Age of the Pirates, Caribbean Tales. Um, now this one I paid one dollar for as well, but I cannot really find anything on this one. So, Craig, if you can help out a uh, brother spider, uh, just give us a message and let me know if you can because I can't find anything on this one uh, So if you could help me out with that one uh, that would be pretty sweet unless you are my enemy green goblin And you don't want to help me then we will fight Craig we will fight House I love this horror movie. This is one of my favorite horror movies of all time um, I want this on VHS to keep. I want this on VHS to keep. But anyway, House, I'm gonna get 10 bucks for this. I paid a dollar. I'm gonna get 10 bucks for this. But um, god damn, if you haven't seen House, watch it. It is a classic. Uh, Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040. Paid a dollar for that. I should get 20 bucks every day of the week for that. Uh, these Asian animes, man, they people want them. People want them, and I don't know why. I still haven't even fucking listed all my shit from last week. So, this uh, free o thrift shop, because um, this is all muddled up, this is all not in order, um, had, um, I can't breathe, um, had uh, CDs for a dollar, which was awesome. I found this Megadeth, um, it looks pretty rare as well, this Megadeth uh, Symphony of Destru Destruction uh, CD single, paid a dollar for that, and I should get back from comps 15 bucks just from undercutting every fucking prick. Kiss Revenge, paid a dollar. Fucking fantastic album. Fantastic album if you want to rock out. Ten bucks I'll get for that. Plus remember everyone pays their own postage. I paid a dollar for these last two each as well. Iron Maiden, Brave New World. Fucking awesome album. That will sell pretty fast for ten dollars because Iron Maiden is touring very soon. And uh, Spew and I didn't have this just not long ago when Alice Cooper toured, but Brutal Planet from Alice Cooper, double disc set. I only get $10 from it, but from $1 to $10, you're laughing. Who cares? And this is a really good album as well. Good rock and roll album. I wasn't happy with paying a dollar, a dollar each for a cassette tape, but at the same time, it's David Bowie uh, reads the fairy tale Peter and the Wolf. 
What the hell? I'll get 20 bucks for that from a dollar. Happy with that. It's not your big, massive cassette, uh, uh, you know. And I got the best of Fleetwood Mac. Best of Fleetwood Mac will bring me back $15. And $15 in my hand from a dollar is, I'm happy with that and I'll pay for their postage. So, happy with that. Happy with that. And I love Fleetwood Mac. Who doesn't? So, it had, you have to buy it. I got two more bags. And another bag. Pink bag. This, I couldn't believe when I found it. $5. This will get me, this will get me $65. It is a Chewbacca Furby. Chewbacca Furby. Still got his pouch on and everything. Eyes, he works. 65 bucks plus postage, I will get for that. That is cool as shit. Couldn't believe it when I saw it. Five bucks, that Furby. <laughs> Found this toy for $2 and I had to get it because it looks so damn cool. Can anyone tell me what this toy is? I can't put it in the kitty because I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it's a really, really nice toy. Really good condition. It was worth buying for $2. Does anyone know? I can't find anything on there. Uh, with this spider fucking suit on, I can't really read the fucking uh, back of it. But anyway, I think it's something to do with Microsoft. Someone knows, hit me up. Hit me up, let me know. Uh, I paid $6 for this Monopoly seal. This sealed Monopoly. It's red and blue like my suit. Spider-Man doesn't like dogs barking! You scared her! Don't scare your baby! Come on out. So we got this Office Works Monopoly. Office Works Monopoly. Sealed. Never seen it before. One is sold for 50 bucks. Uh, we'll try and get... Um, We'll try and get 50 bucks plus postage as well. None are listed. None are listed. It's a 2011 edition. Uh, maybe I should try and go higher than 50 bucks. What do you reckon? I'll put 50 in the kitty, but tell me if you reckon we should uh, get more than that. Wow, really? Now she's vacuuming. Now she's vacuuming. Every time I want to film, you feel like it's time to vacuum. I found this um, Anthony Robbins Power Talk cassette tapes. That was like 50 cents. Pretty fucking sweet. We stopped that vacuum. We stopped the vacuuming. So yeah, we'll get 10 bucks from the Tony Robbins tapes. 50 cents, why not? Someone might pay more. I don't know. Found this VHS tape. Keanu Reeves on the front there. Smash Hits, 1992, April. Someone will buy this. Marky Mark. Um, it's got Home Alone on there as well. I'll get about 15 bucks from this. It's pretty rare actually, but uh, only 15 bucks. So I paid $20 for 40 DVDs, and this was including TV series box sets. I'll go through this really fast, and then we'll get to the kitty. So I got Expendables 1 and 2 double pack on Blu ray. Uh, we'll get only $8 for that. $8. 300 Rise of an Empire. This is Blu ray as well. I'll get 10 bucks for this, uh, but um, it's the Steel Book one. It's the Steel Book one. Uh, Stranger in a House DVD, no good. I'll get 50 cents for that. We'll take that to the markets. Chucked it in, you never know. Night Eyes 4. Um, I'll get about 8 bucks for that. But it's possible that people in America might pay a little bit more because uh, they look like they like this movie. But anyway, 8 bucks. 8 bucks to the kitty. Eagles Farewell Tour, number 1. Number 1, it was the first time they did the Farewell Tour. Uh, this is a double disc. Um, like I said, these DVDs worked out to you work. You do the maths. I'm a superhero, not a fucking mathematician. I'm a superhero, not a fucking mathematician, all right? It's 10 movies for $5. You do the maths. So this one, uh, the Eagles, I'll get $30 for, 30 bucks. This is a unique uh, DVD, this one. I've got two copies of it as well. Uh, Madonna, 1993 to 1999, all her, uh, video hits and uh, collections. Someone will froth over this. I'm looking, I'm only gonna put $15 in the kitty each for them, uh, the way that comps are looking, but knowing my luck, I if I price it high at about 40, 50 bucks, I'll get that. But I only put $15 each in the kitty for them. Um, I've got a feeling that these are going to sell higher, and I'll let you know if they do, but we'll say 15 for the kitty. Bang. Surprisingly enough, this 
comes up is not really worth anything. The only way is Essex, series one and two. Uh, I don't know. It, it's not, it just comes up as not worth anything. So I'm not putting anything in the kitty for it. I'll try and get $10, but if it doesn't sell until before I go to the markets and sell all that other shit, I'll sell it to the markets for 50 cents. Uh, Justified the complete, uh, which is this, uh, complete fourth season. Uh, I only get $10 for this one, but it's sealed, so that's alright. Uh, this Underbelly DVD I'll get 10 bucks for. This is a really good, if you haven't seen Underbelly Season 1, watch it, it's fucking sweet. Definitely worth watching. I think it's on, it's even Netflix or Stan. I'm so spewing this was in the 80s one, but uh, Live 8. Live 8 from 2005, it's all in here, it's all complete, really nice. I was, I, I creamed my fucking jeans when I uh, seen it and unfortunately it wasn't the bingo item that I was after. Uh, I'll still get 40 bucks for this one, I'll still get $40. Now the rest, so remember I got 40 DVDs, the rest of them, all here, are going to be put into the Get Lotted Up pile for TV series. You'll spin out with some of the stuff. Now the kitty is ready to go, I'll show you the kitty soon, but let me show you the type of stuff that I got. So, this counted as one. This is seasons one to three on Blu-ray and this counted as one DVD. That's nuts. So, that is season one to three Blu-ray. I could probably just try and sell that like that pack, but I think it was only 20 bucks I'll get. So, I want to try and lot them up all the Sons of Anarchy now, um, because I also found Sons of Anarchy season six. So we'll start to try and do a Sons of Anarchy lot. Now I found a shitload of The Office there. You would have seen me pick up all The Office. I've got season one, two, three, part two of three, four, part two of four, five, part two of five, six, part two of six, and seven, part one. I reckon I'll be able to, I need to find season seven, part two, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find uh, season um, 8, 9 and 10, if there was 8, 9 and 10 anyway, but anyway, I will save them, they're not going in the kitty, that's going to be cool. I've got the office now, so that's another part of my collecting now, to lot up. Uh, South Park season 13, chuck that in there, why not, I'll start uh, lotting up some South Parks. Shit, when they've, I've got to, i got to see, uh, you probably told me in the comments already, I've got to see how much. I can't. My phone let, won't let me open it. Alright, Sopranos. I've got season 1 of Sopranos, season 6 of Sopranos, season 3, season 4, season 6 again. So there's just a couple of uh, seasons I need of the Sopranos to finish that lot up. Uh, I've got Dexter season 1. Yes, yeah, so Dexter season 1. Dexter the final season. Uh, two and a Half Men, the fourth season. I don't think I need that for my lot, but it doesn't matter. I'll start another lot of uh, Two and a Half Men. Uh, Mad Men Season 2, Mad Men Season 5, Mad Men Season 3 on Blu-ray, Mad Men Season 4 on Blu-ray, and Mad Men Season 5 on Blu-ray. So there's a fair few Mad Men Seasons there as well, so I've got a lot of lotting up to do. I'm going to start really getting this list together of what stuff I need to really keep an eye out when I'm at the uh, uh, thrift stores um, to lot these up. And then we are going to have a lot up party. We are going to have a motherfucking lot up party, man. We spent $74.50. It is time to bring up the kitty. Oh, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. We have a lot, a lot to put away to lot up later on down the track. But Kitty, we spent $74.50, Kitty. How much are we going to get back? Kitty, Whew. Damn. And $687. $687. Four fees, four taxes, four mumbo jumbo shit, before lighting it up. This is $687, Kitty. Fuck off, fuck right off kitty, get the fuck out of here, go back to your little litter box. There we have it guys, DVD lighting up is looking good lately, the VHS Brifter is liking this. Anyway, Robbie Hollywood will be back next week, uh, I am your friendly neighbourhood Brifter. Uh, don't forget, uh, Thursdays, you know it is always a show and tell, we got Tuesdays right along. 
Uh, we've got extra little episodes happening. We've got Saturday morning live chats. We've got Sunday worldwide of reselling. It is all happening on this channel, all happening. So don't forget to subscribe, like, or do what the fuck you want. It is your life. And just remember, it is your life. You can do what you want with it. I, you won't see me again. You won't see the good old Spider-Man again. But I will see you later. And have a good one. I'll see you.